Hey, my name's Austin, and of the many simple hacks out there that promise better health, there's one that's not only scientifically proven, but also quite simple. It's walking. In general, exercise at any given time of the day is good for you, but there's a growing body of research that suggests walking within a certain amount of time after each meal is beneficial to your metabolic health. If this is your first time hearing the phrase metabolic health, no worries. Put simply, metabolic health refers to your body's ability to generate and use energy at the cellular level. Those who are metabolically healthy typically have more energy, better memory, and are able to burn fat more readily to maintain healthy weight. One key indicator of your body's metabolic health is its ability to efficiently process glucose. Recent research shows that a simple walk after a meal can help prevent your glucose from spiking and significantly lower overall levels of insulin, which is great for long-term metabolic health. The reason that walking clears glucose from your blood so well is because your muscles are glucose processing machines. In fact, exercise can boost glucose uptake by up to 50 times compared to when we're sedentary. And that's not even the best part. Perhaps the most attractive thing about a post-meal walk is that you spare your pancreas from having to work so hard to return glucose levels back to normal range. So when we say go for a walk after a meal, how long should I walk? How intense should my walk be? And how soon after eating should I be going for a walk? Easy. Two studies were completed in 2016, and the authors concluded that the best post-meal walk intensity and duration is a brisk walk within 30 minutes of eating and continuing to walk for 30 minutes. Here's the thing, many of us are extremely busy and might not always be able to spare 30 minutes to walk after we eat. So what do we do? Well, research shows that regular low intensity exercise throughout the day allows your muscles to frequently absorb glucose and can have similar effects as a post-meal walk. As little as 100 seconds of movement every 30 minutes has been proven to make an impact on your body's ability to maintain stable blood sugar. At the end of the day, movement of any kind should be at the core of your strategy for good health. Whether you're walking after meals, squatting every 30 minutes, or dancing in the kitchen while you're eating your favorite meal, finding easy and fun ways to include movement in your life will have lasting benefits in your pursuit of optimal metabolic health. Thanks for watching.